Messenger RNA vaccines were the first to be approved for the prevention of COVID-19, less than a year after the disease began sweeping the globe. But their development only happened that fast because of decades of work with the molecule in a completely different area. Cancer research, the hitherto obscure field, started making headlines. mRNA is often described as medicinal software because it doesn't affect the body directly, but instead carries instructions that have an effect only when they're carried out. mRNA vaccines work by training the body's immune system to fight off a potential danger. They contain many copies of a strand of precise genetic information, stretches of messenger RNA. These have been programmed to induce cells to start making very specific proteins. For instance, the abnormal proteins found on tumor cells that have escaped detection by the body's immune system. So the surveillance system is something that is inbuilt and protects us. But there are faults and there are specific circumstances thinking about inflammation. So chronic inflammation, for example, is something that can alter the landscape inside the body and allow tumor cells to escape uh, from the immune system. To destroy those invisible cancer cells, the immune system therefore first has to be able to see them and messenger RNA makes them visible. The problem is every patient's cancer is different. There's no one-size-fits-all mRNA therapy, but the information molecule can be rewritten to produce proteins to order. The age of wide-scale personalized treatments grows closer by the day. So we expect that there will be a licensed use for these cancer entities within the next 12, 24, 36 months. Uh, but what will take much longer is, of course, the widespread applicability and also this depends, of course, on the availability of the production of those molecules and the price tag, of course. Though there have been few full-fledged approvals so far, dozens of mRNA technology-based candidates aimed at a wide range of cancers are in ongoing trials all over the world.